This video is designed to show you how to find the inverse norm or a z value given an area on a Casio graphing calculator. First off, I'm going to find my distributions. I'm going to hit option. I'm going to go to statistics in my distributions, F3. And now I'm going to go to norm, which is F1. And here's my inverse norm. You use inverse norm when you have an area and you want to find this z value on the z-axis here. Now remember, your calculator only knows how to find all of the area to the left. So very nicely for this z value, the area to the left is 0.1. So I'm going to hit inverse norm, which is F3. And the area to the left is 0.1. It's assumed to be the standard normal, so that means that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. When I hit execute, it gives me my z-score. You can see it's negative because it's less than 0, so negative 1.28. And again, I hit inverse norm cd, and the area to the left is 0.1. For next example, we have area to the right. So what we're going to have to do is sort of trick the calculator into finding the area to the left so we get the proper z-score. If I just put in inverse norm 0 0.05, it will give me the negative version of it over here. So I'm going to hit inverse norm, and directly in here I can say 1 minus 0 0.05. And that gives me my positive z-score of 1.64 in this case. Again, that was inverse norm CD. That was 1 minus 0 0.05 to get the positive score. Now here we have a Z sub alpha over 2. And with the Z sub alpha over 2, um, I have an area. But this area is always going to be the area to the right. So this area here is 0 0.025. Now once again, our calculator only knows area to the left. So I'm going to actually have to go inverse norm, again, 1 minus the 0 0.025. And that will give me my positive z-score of 1.96.